animating and pack is confusing so hopefully this can clear some or most of it up. I start off with actually making an animation for you and then afterwards I'll explain the process of moving on the bones and then I'll explain the settings for the final touch up of the animation. I'm gonna make a katana swing, should be simple, that's all. Right click, advanced, custom animation, this should pop up. Now, start, you gotta select your animation type. This also, this gesture, posture, sequence, and stance. Gesture uses the current position of the bones, and it only plays once, and after that you have to manually replay it. Posture, I, I don't know because I, I never used it before and I'm lazy to test it out. Uh, sequence, now this this is the opposite of gesture. It will, it will constantly replay until you manually stop it. It uses T-posed position. If I select, hold on. There we go, yeah, it uses T-posed position. And it, I wouldn't recommend this if you're new, but this type is very beneficial if you want your animations to look gorgeous, I guess. <laughs> so. Last is the, the stance. It uses the current bone position. You won't be T-posed, but it replays over and over until you, you know, manually stop it. It's great for just idle animations. Now I'm gonna start doing the animation. I'll just do, just do a quick speed up. Uh, so if I, I'm just, I want this to be, you know, just simple and quick. I'm just gonna use gesture. Normally I use sequence, but I'm just gonna use gesture for this one. So this white bar here, it's called a frame. You click on it and you're set to edit the bones over here on the editor bar. Uh, so, I'm gonna start making the animation. Speed this up. I finished the first frame. In editing the bones, if you notice, I usually move the number angles over here rather than the the axis, the blue, green, and red axis. You, you can do whatever you want. I usually just use the number angles because when I directly move the axis and I play the animation, it just fucks up sometimes, and you don't want that. Now I'm gonna explain. The game. Hold up. Alright, Lex can go. Uh, he can go fuck himself. Okay, I'm gonna explain the process of moving bones. I usually imagine three sections, the lower, middle, and the upper. On the lower, I move the foot, calf, the thigh, and the pelvis. In the middle, hold up, shit. In the middle, spine, spine one, spine two, spine four, and all that. Now the upper, I move the clavicle, upper arm, forearm, and the head. The most important bone the most important bone out of all this is the pelvis because you have to move both the position and the angles. Moving the position moves the entire you know, body, including the angles. Now the reason it's important because, like for example, um, let me, I'm going to set this, I'm going to reset this back to zero. Oh, this is zero. No. Okay, so if I scroll the frame, you see the feet just sliding. It just looks weird. So if I set this back to where I just edited it, uh, now scroll the frame, you see the left foot, or the right foot is staying in one place and it, it's gonna look good. I'm gonna start doing the second frame, which is the, the actual swinging of the katana. Actually first let me, uh, I have, I have it hidden, so I can just, Right, now I'm gonna do the second frame, which is just the, the swinging. Right click on the frame, duplicate to end, and it will be the same as the first, and you can start off editing the bones from there.
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in you know the animation type gesture, right? Since it only plays once until you manually stop it, uh, try not to press the space bar if you're using gesture because the space bar it's a it's a shortcut key for playing in animation. So if I press it, it's gonna it's gonna play. And uh, and you're, you're not you won't be able to move the bones after uh, you know you, you play it. So just just click on the animation on the editor bar again and start editing again. Just try not to press space by using gesture. I finished the uh, the second frame, the swinging. It's not perfect, but you know it'll, it'll work. I did the same as before, a lower, middle, then upper. Now if I just scroll the animation, okay, it's swinging. Now I'm gonna do the third frame. Since this is a katana and sheath, katana has to go back into the sheath. What I can do is just click on the first frame, duplicate to end, and it'll be you know exactly the same as the first. And now if I scroll again, back into the sheath. Finally, the four frame, which will set, is gonna set your current bone position back to normal. Very right of the mission editor bar, there is a green plus at keyframe, and it will set you back. So if I play the whole thing together, it's uh, the animating is finished. Now there's three more things you have to do before finishing the animation. That's the speed of it or the length. This, this all frames is just by one second and all it's four seconds so we gotta reduce that or increase the speed right click on the frames and set the length and set this to 2.3 second frame which is a swinging I'm just gonna set it to third maybe three It's, it's try and error. You can have to you know, uh, find out which one is you know, works the best. It's try not to set the length to zero, or you'll just fuck up the entire animation, and you can't undo it. You have to like go through all your backups and shit. And so, I, I'm gonna play the animation, see if it looks good. Uh, it looks good. So the second last thing is interpolation. What interpolation does, it edit your transition between frames, between the two frames. You can make it smooth or robotic. It, it depends on your animation type. So I have animation gesture, the interpolation is cosine, which is the default. I'm going to change it to cubic, which if you look close it's actually smooth in the transitions now if I make it linear it's probably gonna look robotic yep I'm gonna choose none which is no transition at all but you're gonna like yep no transitions it's gonna look oh, skipping the frames no it's it's just all try and error. Just try each. Just try either cubic or linear. Which which one works? I said interpolation just depends on the animation type. Like uh, for example, let me. And now in this animation here, you can see my animation type. My animation type is sequence. My interpolation is linear. If you remember back uh, on the gesture, I put cubic, which makes it smooth. On a sequence, linear is what makes it smooth. So it's like kind of the opposite of each other. So let's this. It's a so big, it's gonna, it's gonna look. It, it's just try and error, just see which one works. Sometimes the default, which cosine works the best. So let's just go back and, uh, yeah. This one works the best. Lastly, add an event to, you know, activate the animation. The event is a whole nother video itself, but it's easy. You'll figure it out if you have no idea how to use it. I'm assuming most of you watching this knows how to use it, so I'm just not going to explain. So I'm just gonna do command. There. Now, 
the animation frames it it's about 1.1 between 1.2 seconds so I'm just gonna set the time to hurt now yep all right all right so I, I, this is it no this is the shit that I usually make And on the other hand, my friends would make and send me a pack, and it's the most dumbest shit I've ever seen. You're such a fucking.